the Thoughty or Tea podcast. Do you know, for me, I just wake up now and I'm like, I've spent my whole life trying to understand why it is I take to certain things or why it is I react or respond to them sort of things that I'm just sick of my, like, you know, I'm not making excuses for myself. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it is what it is. And, and that that's it. And I, I should actually be proud of myself for even acknowledging that, you know? Yeah. Uh, and I think there's, there is an aspect of like, especially with, with life, you know, we have all these social norms that people trying to try to thrust upon us, but being autistic, we have, we have a spiky profile. We have things that we're really good at doing and we can do for ages and we can focus on all day to the point where we forget to eat and drink and, you know, pick up all the, that... the, the, the tiny details and, you know, yeah recognize patterns and and create things but there's just such a, a there's a part of life that we may we may fall down on which you know for me that could be things around like executive functioning things like keeping on top of hygiene or cooking or cleaning or you know that those those things as well as within the workplace things around like organization and um, communications you know there's lots of things that i'm great at that i can do which you know it's you know if i would say it, it was like the, the the product of what i would want to sell to people you know being like my podcast work and my my blogs and stuff but there's so many aspects to running that kind of thing that i'm not so great at. yeah i'm really happy because i am in a, a situation where i found someone who might be able to sort of support me in that side of things, but it's it's taken a while and it's not something that's like yeah, readily one, yeah. pushed by and supported by, you know, like the systems that we have in place. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. I don't think anything, anything we, we've got to search it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think any of the things that I'm doing would, would be possible without that support unit. You know, without without people like Anna, without. You know the help from born anxious and without them people that continue to inspire and motivate me it, you know what i mean it wouldn't be what what we vision it to be we really nurture these projects and we have to mm. try to nurture everything that that is, is sat behind them them things that are new to us and yeah just, just be proud of that in it i think that's that's a proud thing Really yeah it's it's being being able to say hey look you know i'm amazing at this yeah people should and take, it just take being okay of this. yeah 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 100 <laughs> and then all the stuff being like i don't i don't find that easy and i need support with that and that being okay as well it's like yeah understanding the two sides of it you know like we see a lot of stuff uh we used to see a lot of stuff which is very negative about autism now we have sort of organizations, companies, and people kind of, they, they kind of go the other way where they say that everything's great about autism. Whereas like the reality is, is that it's a mix of the two and it's, you know, it's, it's just being different and having different needs and having different strengths um, and being okay with that, I guess.